hey guys welcome again to facts and code first of all a great thanks to you that we just hit 20 subscribers literally i did not share any of my video from my side but you made it possible because you really like some of my contents and also give it a great views so thank you so much for this and please keep supporting so without wasting time let's jump straight into the topic so for today's topic is how can we create csv files from c language and also how can we read that file so as you know that we also learn c from code with harry and there a problem harry says that you can also create csv files so that i made this video that if any of you face any problem while creating this file you can refer to this video so first of all there is a code and this is very simple and straightforward just i give a scanf about asking how many customers i want to include in my csv file then simply want everyone's name that i store in an array and then ask for the salary because salary can also be in point or decimal so i give float function with it so then next we just use fprintf and there is a key for the csv file this is a comma and this comma is just very mandatory to create a csv file because if you did not place the comma all csv file include your this txt in a single cell but you don't need this you just want that all my name data and salary data are to be placed in different different cells so this comma is very very mandatory and also do the same with fprintf while you want to write the name of the customers and also their salaries so let me just show this billing.csv and here some data already written i just delete it and now i wish to run it again so enter total number of customers let's assume there is five here just assume name one and all of them are earning fifty thousand name 2 50 okay let's make it 30,000 name 3 also make 40,000 name 4 let's give him again for 50,000 name 5 also let's give him 20,000 and here we go our csv file is already made and how it look like you can check in the vs code it look exactly like this so here is my csv file so now let's open it with excel and here we go you can check our data is updated and all data are arranged in different different cells so this is very simple and straightforward you can utilize this code to in your real life project and also you can read the file from your C language here I can refer you to add this portion because if anyhow you write this portion by any spelling mistake or do something wrong then it returns file does not exist or um, if you did not do this maybe you could not get the error why the message come that you cannot read any file maybe there's some problem occur so this is for your time saving you can add this kind of if else condition so let's run it again and you can check our data is in our terminal and in an arranged way so you can refer to the code also if you wish and thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Bye guys.